This evening I was deep in thought while taking a shower. With my bare bottom pointed towards the shower head, I began to ponder, is it possible to actually sustain a show just from it being hated by everyone? To produce a show that nobody likes but everyone tunes in because they like to make fun of it. The scientific term for this phenomenon is hate watching. People that watch something knowing full well they won't like it, but they can't help but watch it anyway. The reason why I got into this little existential crisis wondering about this topic is because last night news broke that Velma Season 2 is reportedly already being worked on, which is without a doubt the worst news the world has received since the bubonic plague. Velma is a show that's unanimously hated by every single person on this planet with a pulse. So the question begs to be asked, why would they even consider making a Season 2? Even critics hate this show. So who is this for? No one wants it. Is it truly so popular from hate watching that they can justify another season just to continue rage baiting? It's an interesting conundrum and I've seen it being discussed on Twitter. I believe the big uh, tweet about it says something to the effect of you hate watched but you still watched and that's all that matters to the suits. And I think there's a lot of truth to that statement. We've known for a long time journalism actually thrives off rage baiting articles. I'm pretty sure GameSpot is kept afloat entirely from their dog shit movie and TV show reviews because they come up with the most contrarian and most baffling reviews I've ever seen. For those that don't know, GameSpot gave Resident Evil the Netflix show a 9 out of 10 and the Halo show an 8 out of 10. There is no dimension in this fucking multiverse where that makes any sense. If you spit in my face and kicked me in my nutsack and then showed me these GameSpot reviews, I would be more offended by the reviews than your disrespect to my sack in my face. It's just unreal to think that these are real articles that got published. And it's not just these two, but these are by far the most egregious examples that I can think of off the top of my head. And this concept of profiting off anger extends to everything in the journalism field. There are so many articles written with the sole purpose, it seems, to incite controversy and spark hatred. Because when you get upset, you're clicking the articles, which I guess is good for their bottom line. Now, does that same concept extend to a show like Velma? There's a lot of evidence to suggest it does, especially in the case of Velma. Right now, they're wiggling their fingers celebrating that Velma had the biggest premiere day for an HBO Max original animated. But this is such a hollow victory because there's no HBO original animations left since everything got cancelled. They're competing in a goddamn ghost town. It's just crickets for animation on there. So of course it was going to have the biggest premiere. But is it still just genuinely popular? Like even just by normal standards? I think it is. With the amount of clips floating around on Twitter, the amount of discussion around the episodes, I actually think the show is very popular from people solely watching for the sake of insulting it. Which is fascinating because it looks like this show's going to soar to profitability for the network solely off just being this public toilet for people to shit in. This is just the internet's punching bag right now. The show fucking sucks. It sucks fuck. It's terrible. And everyone knows it. They can't help but watch it and stay glued to it to see how bad it gets. It tickles a morbid curiosity deeply embedded in the DNA of every human being. Where when you see a car accident, you can't help but slow down just to observe the carnage and see what's going on over there. That's Velma. It's a repulsive train wreck people can't help but check out. It's just like when, you know, my boy George got curious and it led to all kinds of adventures. But the only adventure you go on when checking out Velma is despair and boredom and just pure insufferable misery. It's not a fun bad show by any means. This isn't like The Room or something where it's so bad it's good and it becomes enjoyable. Velma is an absolute chore to watch. It's more like going into a lecture that's hosted by the worst person you've ever met on Twitter. And then they also have a stand-up routine from someone that came from Tumblr. It's just a bad show no matter how you spin it. All of the jokes don't land. Every joke is pretty much the exact same formula with no real punchline except for Fred's got a tiny wiener. It's just a shitty overall show, but people are still watching. So much so that we might doom the world with a season two of this thing. That would be like the apocalypse or the Armageddon written about in the Bible if there's actually a Velma season two that premieres next year. I, I just, I can't even imagine how the, the, the world could have deserved such an awful fate. 
but it's so interesting. Like, I, I can't help but just be truly blown away by the fact that the studio and everyone involved here has to see the reception. They know everyone hates it. But numbers are numbers. And these numbers are astronomical, I suppose, because goddamn, a season two already. I, very bold strategy, but I mean, maybe this is an actual legitimate thing that studios might start doing is just making shows with the sole purpose of making people angry from watching them. I decided to do my due diligence and check against another recently hated show. This was universally slapped by everyone that watched it. This is The Witcher Blood Origin, and it was the number one show on Netflix during its opening week, it seems. So, regardless of the quality of the show, it looks like as long as you can make people talk about it, whether it's positive or negative, it really does just benefit the network overall. Maybe when it comes to shows like this, there really is no such thing as bad publicity because these are two very recent and very quick examples of shows that everyone despised, nobody defended, and it had no fans or supporters. There are more fans of Catching the Common Cold than there are of Velma or The Witcher Blood Origin, and yet they both pulled good numbers, it seems, solely from being hated. It's interesting. So, going forward, here's what I propose. Stop hate watching. Let me do it for you. I'll watch all of these stinkers and I'll let you know just how bad they are. I don't think shows and networks should be rewarded for churning out poop like this. So, I'll be the only one to watch them. Let Velma Season 2 roll around and it has a single viewer. Me. I'll fill you in on all the nitty gritty details of how awful the show is, no problem. I don't mind doing that. I'll bear the burden of their sin and I'll carry it for all of us. I'll watch these god-awful shows because I love watching terrible shit. Even when it's not fun, like Velma, there's no fun to be had. That's a word that's forbidden to be used in the same sentence as this show. But I still do it because there's something about the way that I'm programmed that just has to watch awful media or play awful games i just I, I i like i feel this compulsion to do it and i can't fight that demon you know if there's something that has a 1.3 on imdb like velma currently does i i'm like a moth to a flame i'm like a dog chasing a car except i know exactly what to do when i catch it i fucking watch the goddamn show and i'm upset the entire time i wear a frown on my face and <laughs> It's this vicious cycle, and I, I just love it. I, I don't know what to tell you. So just let me do that for all of us. I'll be the only hate watcher from now on. So that way, they stop getting good numbers and good returns on absolutely horrible shows and programs. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about this because I found it very interesting. Assuming, of course, Velma Season 2 really is in the works. That would be very upsetting, but also... The more I think about it, not surprising because of just how popular it is to hate on it. So I'm guessing there is a lot of people that continue to watch it. Though I do imagine they're going to experience a significant drop off in viewers. Those numbers are going to absolutely plummet like Netflix stock last year. It's because now everyone knows it's not fun bad. Everyone's given it a chance to try and be entertainingly shitty. And it's not. It's just not entertaining. It's just shitty. So they're not going to continue watching, or at least most of them probably aren't. So there's not going to be as many viewers going forward. But maybe they still just had enough already from just the two episodes. Couldn't tell you, but just thought this was something interesting to think about. And that's about it. See ya.